AutoTune Pro has two different modes, Auto Mode and Graph Mode. The default mode is Auto Mode, which you'll most likely be using when you're pitch correcting. So this is our default window for AutoTune Pro. So we have our global controls up here. And the first thing you notice is this big wheel in the middle here. And this is what we call our pitch display. So this shows us the letter name of the pitch coming in. And then around it, it'll light up to show us whether the incoming pitch is being sharpened or flattened. So let's take a listen and check it out. It's all like a dream How you came onto me So surreal it may seem How we could be Cool, so again you can see the letter name in the middle and that's the note that's being um, taken and pitch corrected. So the further away from this zero it is, the more pitch correction there is. Um, and there's also this hold button here. So if there's a certain note that still sounds a little funky, you can hold that down and see what note is going on there. We have these four main knobs, which are our tools for pitch correcting in auto mode. This retune speed is, uh, I like to think of it as the attack of the pitch correction. So how quickly the pitch correction jumps on the incoming audio. This flex tune knob, which is really useful for adding realism back into the vocal, especially if there's vocal gestures such as gliding into notes or um, grace notes. This humanize knob, which is also really important for adding realism into the vocals, and this natural vibrato, which allows us to accentuate or diminish the natural vibrato already present in the vocal track. And as you notice, we have this keyboard down here at the bottom, which shows us in blue which note is coming in. So in contrary to the pitch display, um, which shows us which note is, is coming out of autotune, the keyboard shows us which note is coming in. And it'll be highlighted in blue. So let's take another listen again. So using a combination of the pitch display and the keyboard is really helpful for um, pinpointing the notes that need a little extra love. And we can remove certain notes, so if we want to take them out and we don't want the vocals to be corrected to that note, we can remove them. And we can also bypass certain notes, so if we want to, the auto-tune to be bypassed for a certain note. And I'll cover the keyboard a little bit more in another lesson as well. We can also open up our advanced view um, to have a few more options. So instead of accentuating or diminishing the natural vibrato, we can actually create our own vibrato by using certain waveforms, which is pretty cool. And we also have this edit display down here, edit scale display. So we can create our own scale. As you can see, there's um, all the notes of the chromatic scale here and we can bypass or remove certain notes. And you know this works for all octaves of the keyboard, whereas selecting notes on the keyboard um, itself is just for that specific octave. So if we want to create our own scale, we can do that here in the advanced view. We can set it to major or minor, and we can bypass all the notes, remove all the notes. And if we have a MIDI controller, we can actually tell it to learn a certain scale based on the notes that we're playing on our MIDI controller, which is pretty awesome. And lastly, this targeting ignores vibrato is especially useful if the vocal has a really dramatic vibrato. So if it's going um, really basically back and forth between two notes, selecting targeting ignores vibrato allows for the autotune algorithm to kind of not really jump on this and create a, an abrupt pitch correction. So this is just a basic overview of auto mode, and now we're ready to start tuning our vocals.